hoes land where I'm staying. I never dap you with the left hand. I draw down with the clock in the right hand. I got practice with me when I walk in. A lot of waiting in a sprinter fan. I swear that I'm happy, I need a fan. I got prices and sales and they all pan. Make it work while I'm using the left hand. Coming up next, the matchup for the UFC lightweight division title. All right, here he is, the number one lightweight contender making his way to the octagon and looking to lead as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. As he steps towards this cage, he understands this is one of the biggest moments in his life, the biggest moment in his career. He is looking to take this title, and he believes his time is now. His preparation has gone perfectly. He is in outstanding shape. He has a great game plan and a great camp, and he believes that he will emerge the new champion of the world tonight after this fight. Well, in a division as talented as 155 pounds, it is absolutely remarkable what this man has accomplished. Here he is, folks, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Now, his goals, far more lofty than that. The title defenses are starting to pile up, but he believes with this type of challenger that has some momentum with fight fans, if he can dust this guy here tonight, he can take his career to the next level and start to be mentioned with the GOATs, the Hall of Fame types. For now, he'll have to settle for UFC lightweight champion. We will see how it goes for him tonight, Bates. The champion is in focus. He is in his prime. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this camp has been absolutely spectacular. He believes he has a solid game plan, and his mentality coming into this fight is clear and focused. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than five years apart, and they have the same height and reach. All right, just about ready to go here now for the particulars. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada! <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 150 pounds. Fighting out of New York, presenting the challenger, the professional. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Jiu-Jitsu fighter. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 150 pounds. Fighting out of New Orleans, Louisiana, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC lightweight champion of the world, the king. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it. Clean. I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time, and it is gonna Ready go fight. down right Ready. now. Ah, uh, yes, here we go. Five rounds if needed for the UFC lightweight championship of the world. Oh, and he connects there. That one hurt. Lands a big right hand early. Leg 
kick. Back to the jab now. He's circling towards the left now, Joe. Fighters back to their feet here. Well, he left his body wide open there for that hook shot, Joe, and he paid for it. He is leaning in. I know he's got the guard high, but that means the body is exposed, and the opposition took full advantage there. Hard hook. Good one, two. He's checking every single one of those. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Oh, clipped him with the jab. And he connects there, Joe. Ooh, blocks the shot. Nice punch. Just over two minutes now to go. Tags him with the overhand. He's doing a great job of blocking things here. He's back up to his feet. Rip that hook to the body. Double jab. Joe, huge block there. The defense is holding up. That landed. Joe, pretty well played there to avoid the clinch. Caught that one on the forearm. That's a nice clean shot. Excellent posture. In half guard. That oh. horn sounds me as oh. we have reached the end of round one. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Incredible striking on display in that round. Doing what you're doing. That single leg is there, the double leg is there. Take him down what you've been doing. Keep the beautiful Jenny Andrade getting us going. Second round underway. This is going to become one of those things where you're just wondering what's, what's the opponent going to be able to do to him. Not even whether or not he's going to win, but what's his opponent going to be able to do to him. Oh! Tags him with the uppercut. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice straight left and a right hand behind it. Well, he might be working towards an attritive knockout here tonight as he continues to pepper that body. Look at those numbers, bottom of your screen. That has been the most significant stat in this fight. The body strikes landed for this young man, working here towards the best performance of his UFC career. Couldn't agree with you more. Nice shot. Oh, he left his head wide open to absorb that straight hand. He has shown a vulnerability here by leaning in right into his opponent's range. Lands a punch. Very nice leg kick for him there. Can't take too many of those. Oh, huge block. Useful hook there. Uh, 
So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Nice hook. Two minutes down to go in round two. Lands a, lands a right hand upstairs. Now he goes for the single leg. Oh, and down. Hands a punch there, Joe. He's working from half guard now. Excellent movement here on the ground. And back to full guard. He's back to full mount again. Hip escape, nice hip escape. He's trying to go after an arm here. And he escaped the Kimura. Inside control here, he's looking for the Kimura, trying to lock it up. He's got his arm pinned down. He got his arm free. Look at that, he's got it locked up. Very nicely done. He gets the full mount. And uh, that's the end of round number two. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Big round. Brittany Palmer holding it down for us here. You ready to fight? You ready? Go. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, nice hook. Big punch. And follows up with another one. Oh, powerful right leg kick. Oh, his face is painted with blood, Joe. The cut on that cheek not getting any better. We show you the total strikes. Battle for hooks continues. He's got double under hooks now. Back to over under control. He landed that punch flush. And from here, transitions to the Muay Thai clinch. Well, he got cracked to the head there, Joe. He's gonna have to change things up here with his footwork, with his tempo. He continues to be vulnerable to that strike coming back. Gotta get his head off the center line. Good shots by the champion. Nice shot to the body. And both guys really throwing with authority. Good job landing that series of punches here. And he connects with the punch there. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Oh, he connects there. Huge block there. And on a single here. That one appeared to stun him.
Orthodox now. That bruise on his torso is getting bad. Oh! Oh! Wind it up on the right. Oh! Oh! Seconds winding down in round three. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. What a fight. Let's take a look at that again. And let's look at that from a different angle. Brittany Palmer doing her thing as usual. Fourth round now, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Oh! This could be it! Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. And here's the end of the fight. Let's see it one more time. Look at the power in this hook as it lands for the knockout. Check it out again. Crank. Right on the jaw. So what a knockout from the UFC lightweight champion here tonight. Under the bright lights, he rises above the pressure and gets it done in a big way to be the UFC lightweight champion. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest. At 29 seconds of round number four, declaring the winner by knockout and still. So there he is, all smiles, the still undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, and what a way to get it done here tonight as he gets it done with the knockout. You talk about maximizing a showcase. I'm just not sure he could have done it any better. Smart approach to the fight, and the window of opportunity opened. He closed the show. Congratulations to the team as they celebrate the title defense here tonight.